The random names your photos and videos get given by all of your favourite devices and apps are not very pretty, not very searchable and generally not very helpful. But renaming them can seem like a huge job. Enter a better file rename for the Mac. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organiser, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. I love a bit of fire renaming as it makes it look so pretty, but it may seem a little bit obsessive. However, if you do rename all those files, it will make them totally searchable on your computer by all of those lovely names that you have given them. You can do it in bulk on the Mac through Finder, which you can find out all about if you check out my other video on the quick ways to rename your photos that's linked above. But it is still really slow and totally boring. Enter a better file rename for the Mac. In this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on this amazing little piece of software and a quick tutorial on how I use it. What is it? A better file rename is your comprehensive way of bulk renaming your photos, but also any other files that you have. It can rename multiple files with just a few clicks. You can add, replace, and insert text into the current file names or replace the whole name, whatever you want to do. Why do you need it? because it is going to save you a ton of time renaming all of your photos and videos, and it can make them totally searchable. But it also just makes them look a little bit prettier. It has no less than 15 categories to rename your photos, from the basic rename, but also for all those photographers out there who want to rename using metadata, you can do that as well. You can also add presets that you can use time and time again to be able to rename all of your photos to save you even more time. How to use it, the basics. When I rename files, I usually go for the folder name as it's usually year and month and then any event and then I add a sequence at the end. So let's do that in a better file rename. So the first job is to drag and drop the photos that you want to rename into the data window. So if you're doing a number of folders, make sure that in the process section at the bottom that you have selected the files and subfolders so that all your files appear. To do my required name, we need to do it kind of backwards. The first job is to change the file name into a sequence. So in the category selection, you need to select sequence numbers and under action, select produce sequence number list. Start with one and I go for, you know, step value of one and then a padding of three. And I will give you a warning here. Make sure that you have only the file name selected under the change, because if you do the extension, it will wipe all those extensions out. Learn from my mistake. So now we have our sequence. So you can see over here on the right hand side that this is what the sequence I'm going to get. So now I need to add in the folder name. So I go over here to the actions and add a little plus sign because I now need to do my second action. And the second action is then I need to go to the category section and go and pick parent folder name. Then add the folder name at the beginning. Keep add a trailing space behind the folder name as ticked. And again, with my word of warning, the file name without the extension. And here you can see over here on the right hand side what my new name is going to look like. So I've done that. I can click perform renames and a pop-up will come so you can go through and you can check each one individually, but I just go all out and rename all and it will rename all of my files. So if I go over to Finder and look at my files, you can see they have beautifully been renamed. Added extras. When it comes to renaming your photos on the Mac, this is your one-stop shop to be able to do it. 
And a great extra is that you can create presets so you don't have to go through the process again and again, as well as adding multi-step ways to rename your photos like I've shown. When it comes to added extras, you can see there are 15 different ways to be able to rename your photos. So if you can't find the thing that works for you, I would be very surprised. Some drawbacks. Naturally, the biggest drawback is that it is only for the Mac. However, PC users out there, there is bulk rename utility. Check out my other video on bulk rename utility in the link above. The other drawback does make me sound a little bit obsessive. It is, if you load up a number of folders to rename them in bulk, what it does is it numbers the first folder from one, but it starts the next folder with the sequence from the previous folder. So if the first folder had 10 photos, it would have sequence from one to 10. Then the next folder would start at 11. That's a little bit annoying for me, Maybe that's just me. So there you have it, how to rename all of your photos with a better file rename for the Mac. Do you know any other great tools to help rename your photos? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, Go ahead with a like and a share, and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.